Okay, so let's get into the Pavlova kit. It is in its own separate box. You'll have uh, all the things that are in here that you'll need. Um, for the meringue itself, there is 150 grams of egg whites. This is the pasteurized egg, egg whites. If you want to use fresh egg whites at home, go for it. It probably equates to about four or five egg whites, so it's not, it's not that many, but the pasteurizer are in here. 300 grams of sugar for meringue. Remember, we're making a Swiss meringue with these. That's over the double boiler. Um, for your filling, there's uh, 300 grams of cream in here. Um, there is 50 grams of sugar right here. Um, and you can make a whipped cream with that. I also included a little bit of gelatin if you wanted to do a mango mousse. There's some mango puree in here. You could make a mango fruit mousse out of that. And then the last one is the bright red container. We use this in uh, class. Uh, this is the cherry curd. I portioned it up back then hoping we could use it. Uh, the cherry curd already has gelatin in it, so all you have to do is kind of melt that down in the microwave real quick. Again, don't melt it in the containers. Um, and you, you can fold whipped cream right into this and boom, you have a, a nice cherry mousse. So uh, use your best jurisdiction. If you think like this base doesn't need this much cream, which it doesn't, uh, don't fold all of it in there, right? Just use your best judgment. You're all cooks at this point, so that's a good place to be. There's also a small <laughs> little container of uh, um, cream of tartar for your uh, meringue, so that will help stiffen up your meringue as well. Okay, so there's all of your ingredients for the pavlova. Again, watch the pavlova video so you can see some different piping techniques, and we can uh, go from there. Thanks, everybody.